Good morning. This is Wendy Hill Kennel. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video for you. These are nine newborn schnoodles that belong to Gabby and Ruger. Uh, they were born on Sunday morning, uh, the 4th, uh, in the wee wee hours of the morning. So they're not microchipped yet, tails and dew claws aren't done yet, but I thought I would give you a video just to let you see them. Um, so if you're looking for a particular way they're marked, you're gonna have to just kind of take a look at the markings and remember them until we do a video later. So this is a black male. All, the, all blacks are all males. There's no markings on him. He has a little white stripe on his chest. And this is a blue merle male he's got really really pretty markings he's got nice markings on his face and there's his markings on the other side and tails have not been done nor have their dew claws all right the next one in here this is another male he has white patch oh it's okay it's actually a merle it doesn't really look it from the top but he's got a big blue swish right here so he's a, actually a blue merle uh, with a little tiny bit of merle on the side of his foot and he's got a little teeny tiny patch of merle right there so you'll probably never know he's a merle from looking at him but this is a merle and I didn't know that till we got him out here and rolled him around okay so the next one of course is another male and let's see if you've got any hidden blue patches nope he's got a white V on his chest and he's got a little bit of white on the pads of his feet does he have any white under his tail nope and he's got a little white goatee. All right, so now we're gonna get into the Merles. Um, this is a Merle, but he's probably the lightest mark Merle in the bunch. He's got a little bit of blue swish down here, blue on his legs, blue up on here under his belly, a big swish under here and some more under his neck. And he's sound asleep. All right, this is another Merle that's not marked very heavy. He's got blue down the back of his head. He's got blue front feet. Let's flip him over. He's got lots of blue on his belly. He says, oh, I don't like you touching my belly. Blue on down his back legs and blue all the way underneath his throat and chin. Okay, this is the female and she will be going to Indiana and she's not having her tail done. They want a natural tail on this puppy. So she's sound asleep. She's got a half uh, yin yang face, except this is black up this side. And she's got beautiful blue markings, blue and black markings down her back. And let's roll her over. She's got a white spot on her chest and white, a little bit of white on the side of her cheeks. And she's got blue merle under her chin also. Okay, then this one is another blue merle male. I think this guy's the biggest one in the litter. He doesn't have quite as much heavy mer merling as the merle that we did first, but he's got really nice merle spots down his back and sides. And let's roll you over here, buddy. He's got a white spot on his chest, and other than that, that's it. He says, I want up. The merles are gonna have black noses. Uh, as far as blue eyes, eh, I doubt it, but they could. Um, this is another merle male. And he's got lots of pretty merle markings. Whoops, don't you roll, buddy. He's got black on his shoulders. He's got one black ear, one blue ear. And he's got a tiny white spot on his chest. So that'll kind of give you a sneak preview at these guys. Uh, there were 12 in the litter. One we lost at birth, and she laid on the other two. So we're watching these really closely to make sure that they're doing good. They're nursing well, and she's doing really good with them. So, uh, as of right now, we're all good. I'm not going to put individual photos on until they're a full week old so that we know that she doesn't lay on anybody and we don't lose somebody. So I hope you enjoyed their videos. Uh, one thing I was going to let you know, on a newborn, their ears are totally, totally sealed shut. Let me get somebody that's cooperative. This guy's asleep. This guy says, I don't want to do this. This guy shows you can see this ear is completely closed. When they're newborn, they're completely sealed shut, the same as their eyes. He says, I want to eat. Their eyes and ears will open about the same time. Their ears will get real flaky, and they'll finally open up to where there's an ear canal in there. And the dew call that we're going to take off is right here 
It's located on the side of the foot. It sticks out on the side, and that should always come off of every dog. And there's no back dew claws on these puppies that I've looked at so far. So that'll kind of give you a glimpse on what uh, the ears and the dew claws are. And then the tails are docked um, about uh, three quarters of an inch long is where the dock usually goes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed their quick video. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to text me or call me. But it'll be at least Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday of this coming weekend and next week before we put their photos on as I really, really want to make sure that nobody has an unfortunate disaster and mom lays on them. So she's about 46 pounds right now with the extra weight. And these guys are too little to, to cope with that when mom lays down on them. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. And we'll have pictures for you in about a week.